Welcome back. Nobel laureate Muhammad Yunus was sworn in as the head of Bangladesh's interim government last night. His appointment follows the resignation of Prime Minister Sheikh Hasina amid widespread protests. Yunus took oath during a ceremony at the presidential palace attended by political leaders, civil society figures, military officials and diplomats. More than a dozen members of his cabinet, who hold the title of advisors rather than ministers, also took their oaths. Now, the caretaker government is now tasked with restoring peace and preparing for new elections. Yunus has faced over 100 criminal charges in the past. However, Bangladesh's Army Chief General Vakir Zaman has expressed confidence that Yunus would guide the country through a beautiful democratic process. Meanwhile, Prime Minister Modi has extended his best wishes to Yunus, affirming New Delhi's commitment to cooperating with Dhaka. The Prime Minister did, however, mention that there was a need to protect the minorities in Bangladesh. But in a strong statement as well, the Bangladesh National Party has said, and I quote, it would be tough to cooperate with India if it helps our enemy, Hasina. Crossing over to my colleague Pooja to get us more on this now. Pooja, I think there's a very big statement that's been made by the Bangladesh National Party, which we just read out there. Tell us more about what the significance of that. All right, we'll try to reestablish that connection, but we'll go through that statement once more. This is a recent development, and this also does not bode well necessarily for ties between Bangladesh and India. Now, remember, Dhaka and New Delhi have actually shared, especially over the last few years, uh, very good ties while Sheikh Hasina was the prime minister, but with this recent ouster where she even fled the country and essentially is in a safe house in India, with that in place now, with a new party, with a new government, a term government rather, that has been sworn in, and also the Bangladesh National Party then making a statement saying it would be tough to cooperate with India if it helps our enemy Hasina, this does not necessarily bode well for ties between the two nations. Well, to get us more on this, we're crossing back over to my colleague Pooja. Uh, Pooja, over to you. Uh, well, absolutely. Yesterday, we've seen how uh, Professor uh, Mohammed Yusuf had uh, taken oath as the chief advisor of the interim government. And right after that, we've seen how the Indian Prime Minister, Vendra Modi, has tweeted and wished uh, Professor Mohammed Yusuf. And after that, he also goes on to say that he hopes for an early return to normalcy in Bangladesh and also safety and security of the Hindus. So a very significant tweet that came from the Prime Minister Narendra Modi, not just greeting the newly sworn in chief advisor of the Indian government, but also praying for uh, you know, early return to normalcy and protection of the Hindus and other minorities in Bangladesh. All right, Pooja, thank you so much for joining us, getting us more details there. We'll continue to track the developments of what takes place in Bangladesh because now the interim government, which was just sworn in yesterday, is tasked with the matter of ensuring that peace and democracy returns to Bangladesh at this point.